Heat two of two boys, 11, 12, 400 freestyle relay. In the water at the bottom of your screen is the Terrapin swim team. Lane two, Santa Clara. Lane three, Deonza Cupertino. Lane four, Palo Alto. Lane five, Pleasanton Seahawks. Lane six, Irvine Nova. Lane seven, Team Century. And in lane eight at the top of your screen, Mission San Jose. And out front looking very strong halfway through the first leg with already a body length lead is lane number five, Pleasanton Seahawks out in a 23-94 there for their leadoff leg. Pleasanton Seahawks followed by Palo Alto A squad. We just saw the Palo Alto B squad take over the heat number one, the heat right before with the 352. So we will see how that time stacks up. It definitely is in the top eight for the C times. But already out with a dominant lead in lane number five is the Pleasanton Seahawks out with a 49-96 there for the 11 and 12 year old. Not sure who these names are. They're in the water, but great leadoff leg with about a good 10 yard lead over lane number four, Palo Alto. Well, that was a great lead off for Pleasanton as they are now well ahead of the crowd and if they continue this pace, they are going to be your champions this year in the 400 freestyle relay. Still following behind them is Palo Alto A in the middle of the pool and a great race for third going on between lanes one and three. In one at the bottom of your screen, that's the Terrapins, and in three, that's Deonza Cupertino. At the halfway mark, Pleasanton Seahawks won 45-96. Current record here in this foreigner freestyle relay is a 338.98. So the boys are, the Palo Alto boys are seated first with a 342, but it is Pleasanton Seahawks that are well out in front. So we might see a Far Western's record here. We just saw the ladies in the heat before set a national record. So they already are setting the bar high here at the Far Western Championships. Halfway through the third leg here, Pleasanton Seahawks still comfortably out front. Down at the bottom of your screen, still in the third place position is the Terrapins and moving in, also challenging for third up there in the top of your screen in lane number six is Irvine Nova and Deonta Cupertino in three. But the anchor leg is prepared to enter the water. Pleasanton Seahawks out front, 242-34. Into the water now is Palo Alto A squad. Third place position, very tight between lanes one and six. That's Terrapins in one and Irvine Nova in six. Boys are entered simultaneously. We'll see how those times compare. 255-1 or 253-8 and 1 and 253-6. So two tenths of a second separating those boys. But coming on strong there in lane seven is Team Sentry, who is now moving into a possible third place position. We got a four-way tie going on for third. But watch out in the middle of your pool. And Paulo Alto has just had an unbelievable anchor leg and has taken over the leadership position. What a move from that anchor leg. Unbelievable anchor leg there for Paulo Alto. They are going to be your champions here in the 400 freestyle relay. Definitely need to find out what his split is. Paulo Alto from over 10 yards behind. They are going to take the touch in a 3-39-91, followed by Pleasanton Seahawks, 3-43-48. And the third place battle is going to go to lane number three. That's Deonza Cupertino with a 349-22. And that was an unbelievable finish there for Palo Alto. They were well behind that entire foreign freestyle, but that's what the anchor leg is all about. It's coming down to that final, getting your hand on the wall first. Palo Alto, your 11 and 12 boys champions.